So when I first saw this, I thought it was fake. I thought it was like uh, one of those rage bait things that TikTok does really often. Thanks for the Prime Goat, Koo. Good to see ya. Yeah, I'll be hopping on Siege here pretty soon. Because it really looks... It's so over the top. Like, I really thought it was staged to be like a lesson. Like, don't be a peeping Tom. Don't be like this guy. But it turns out this is all super real. So he's now facing felony charges for this. Obviously. I don't know why there's a watermark here, though. Excuse me, what are you doing? No, I just saw you put that underneath her dress. Absolutely you did. You absolutely did. Then show me your phone. Yes. No, we're going to call security. You absolutely did. And you were following me over in the children's section. Because I have a sister who's pregnant. Ma'am, I really wasn't. You've been extremely close to me this whole time. Please show me your phone. No. I really don't Let's get security. Because this is absolutely wrong. So, like... He looks pretty much right at her while she's filming, and he puts his phone under her dress. So I really thought it was like, oh, this is a skit. This is fake. But no, this guy is just that much of a brazen pervert. Degenerate. It's actually real. So I'll show you the follow-up in a second, but no, a hundred. He, he actually leaves here in handcuffs. He is facing felony charges, and his whole life is ruined. Rightfully so, because who knows how many times he's done this. Upskirts are a crime. Like, you can't be doing that, obviously. He's a fucking degenerate. His legs shaking. That's wild. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, we didn't finish the video, yeah. And also, instead of leaving, he stays to try and, like, talk his way out of it. Like, he was trying to find all the right dialogue options in the tree to get the good ending. Instead of just running away like most people like him. So he stays the entire time to get arrested. It's in the description on Red Thread, I think, Gabe. I think he posted it there, or it's on the channel. Video, you are not going to get away with anything. Ma'am, I'm really, I'm You not. can say ma'am all you want, but we will let them decide. I'm, I really promise I wasn't no. trying to do anything inappropriate. Uh-uh. I wasn't. I really wasn't. I'm not like that. Uh, obviously you are. I literally have it on video. But ma'am, I'm not. I, I really am not. Like, I know it might have seen that laying like the video. No, like, no, just, it's... Just, Okay, listen to me. Yes, ma'am. We're going to wait for them to get here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Like, I was just trying to look nope. at books. Nope. <laughs> I was just trying to look at books. <laughs> okay. That's... Uh, what a what an interesting uh, alternate theory there. He's just browsing some, some good reads. That's all. In the uh, Pokemon card section, where all the best books are. This bro no porn exists. There's so many people like this though. It's it's for them, I think, it's like the thrill of doing something like this. Like they I imagine this probably isn't the only time he's done it. And apparently he had been following the lady filming around the entire time, which is why she's filming here, because she got a very creepy vibe from this guy. And then I guess at some point she de aggroed him, so then he went to this girl, started following her, and then did this. Stop. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. I know I haven't seen that scam. You were so suspicious a following me all scam. around the store. I Mr. knew you were up to no good. You know, everything wrong here? No, I have video of him sticking his phone underneath this lady's dress as she had bent over, videotaping her, and he followed me all around the store. Okay. So we need to like get to... police. Okay, if you can go ahead and call them also. Oh, they don't have the they don't have the next one, but uh. He gets taken away in handcuffs, because I guess they had enough evidence there to arrest him. Here, this just has the rest of the follow-up. Da Daily Mail's Daily Mail's actually been like kind of laying it all down. These five gifts of Speedy. They just compile Reddit posts, and it's actually kind of helpful. So, uh, where is it? Where was it? Uh, well, maybe not. I thought they had the arrest video. Guess not. But he gets he gets taken away from the target with the police. Turns out he was like a very active member of the church, like the local church they were at. This and that. He tried to talk his way out of it. 
it has not worked, and now he's facing some super serious charges. And pretty much everyone that knew him came forward and was like, wow, that's bad. But uh, this was something that I found interesting. He kept he keeps denying that he was he wasn't doing anything wrong, and he apparently showed the police his phone, like the recent pictures, and he didn't have any recent pictures. But I don't know if that also means videos, or if he also had time to delete them. Last I heard, they subpoenaed to get like his deleted information for forensic examination. And they also said this too. Police say they have yet to discover anything inappropriate involving children. Thanks for the gift, Sub Smiley. Yeah, he's a volunteer at the elementary school. That's right, Ethan. Yeah, if he did, if he recorded something like if it was a video and it looks like he was trying to take a video. Even if he deleted it, you can definitely recover those. I don't think there's any way to completely scrub the data as just a normal user. You can always recover it. Arrested and cuffed at a fucking library? Show some respect, brother. This is a target. Why was the lady taking a video in the grocery store? Perfect time to catch him. Damn it, it's a target. It's not just a grocery store and it's not just a library. Show some respect. But as she said, she was filming him because he was initially following her around in the children's section. She got a creepy vibe, so she started filming him and following him around and then caught that. This. Thanks, a gifted member. Abyssal. Imagine the unexpected turn of events. He didn't film anything. The charges against that poor lady would be crazy. Even if the in the most unlikely of circumstances he didn't film anything, him putting the phone under this lady's dress sh still shows the intent. <laughs> like, even if he didn't hit record, like he missed it, he still showed the intent. And even if you can't arrest him for that, he's still going to be ostracized from like his church community and like his friends for that. That's creepy shit, no matter what. I don't think he was recording. I think they hear the click of a photo being taken. Nope. Actually, I don't know if this is true. Chat can tell me if this is true or not. When I was reading through this story after I found out it was real, I learned that this was a pretty popular thing overseas. So I think in Japan, I think is where it was, they instituted this mandate that if you're taking a picture or a video, it has to have a sound. So, you can't do this discreetly anymore because it makes a sound. And I thought that was the craziest shit. That's real? That is true? That's wild. It was that big of a problem, huh? Not that often. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'll play Ermac or not yet. Someone mentioned that, but I still haven't looked into it yet, EDU. Thanks, Risa Blue. And the membership, Carol. Surprised you haven't heard that before? I don't know, that's news to me. You can't turn it off and you get arrested, and they catch you with a mortified phone that has it turned off, they add the tr And if they catch you with a modified phone that has it turned off, they add charges. Smart. I see nothing wrong with that. Hold on, quick. Quick, I'll be right back. U.S. supermarkets have the same energy as random encounters in GTA. My dad died taking an upskirt photo. <laughs> Alright. Interesting meme. No, I still haven't started X-Men 97 yet. Not yet. Thoughts on Coachella? 
fell off. Who cares? I had no idea Coachella was even going on right now until people started making fun of the lack of care people had for it. Yep, I've talked about him before, Tutter. I'm very familiar. Let me throw some splash. There was an old Thousand Ways to Die episode where a guy got impaled while taking an upskirt. No shot, that's Final Destination level shit. That was the Lord himself saying that's enough. Let me see. Oh, you're right. Episode, or, uh, Way to Die number 237. A pervert named Duncan uses his camera phone to get an upskirt of a woman while standing behind the woman at street side coffee vendor. A construction worker attempts to take the f a, cu a construction worker sees Duncan attempt to take the photo. The woman freaks out, and the construction worker standing next to her beats up the pervert. What? Okay, and then another construction worker, eight floors up, trips over a sandbag and lets go of a reinforcement bar which falls from the sky and impales the pervert from his shoulder through to his side, impaling his heart, killing him instantly. Is this... This one seems fake. Aren't these supposed to be real? No way. No, some of them are just blatantly fake. I thought it was all supposed to be real. His membership, Richie. Have I been misled this entire time? No, they're fake, but can happen. Fucking anything can happen. I thought the whole point was they were reenacting real stories. I mean, no shit. It could happen, I guess.